explosive forming it is on type of high energy rate forming process in this forming process large amount of energy is supplied for a very short interval of time many metals tends to deform more readily under extra fast application of load which makes these processes useful to form large size parts out of most metals including those which are otherwise difficult to form the parts are formed at a rapid rate and thus these processes are also called high velocity forming process there are several advantages of using these forming process there are three main high energy rate forming process explosive forming magnetic forming and electro hydraulic forming we shall discuss the explosive forming it is a metal work technique in which explosive charge is used instead of a punch or a press explosive forming is the forming of sheet metal using explosive material metal materials using large amounts of energy over a very short time the history of explosive forming explosive forming was applied in the 1960s in the usa and for its for aerospace and space application also the technology of explosive welding was developed in 19 in 1970s several factors contributed to the reintroduction of explosive forming in the 1990s for forming products with the more complicated shapes were required in smaller this is a diagram of explosive forming here is an explosive charge and it is immersed in water and it is a blank sheet the, under this there is a vacuum and explosive charge is detonated in a high energy high velocity shock waves are formed which will deform the sheet it is a high velocity forming process the explosion explosion leads to shock waves in water with very high kinetic energy there which will form plastic deformation of this work piece a metal sheet is placed on a die the die cavity is vacuumed and the assembly is is placed in water an explosive charge is detonated under water pushing the sheet in the die in about 2 milliseconds is a very rapid process the detail details of this process the first diagram shows the general setup of the explosive forming the explosive discharge and is immersed in water and there is vacuum under the work piece and there is a die the explosive is detonated and the shock wave forms and these shock waves shock waves deform the work piece into the die and it will take the form of the die cavity shock wave forms part and plumes plume escapes water surface the principle of operation of explosive forming this technique uses the energy generated by an explosive detonation to form the metal work piece this process can deliver a great deal of flexibility in the metal forming process there are two methods of explosive forming explosive forming operations are classified as two based on the position of the explosive charge related to the work piece there are two methods are the stand off method and contact method in the stand off method the charge located some distance from the work piece generally water is used to ensure the even transfer of energy to the work piece and to reduce noise caused by the explosion when the pressure wave or fluid force expands against the work piece the metal is compressed against the form die causing the desired shape to be formed this is a setup of stand off method and here the explosive device is placed at a stand off distance from the blank holder and total setup is 
placed inside water. And the other is the contact method. The contact method uses an explosive charge directly in contact with pulses while detonation occurs. Detonation can produce extremely high pressures on the surface up to several million psi. What, why this explosive forming is used? It stimulates other kinds of forming process in the in one process, cost saving, since only one half of the dye is required, used to form larger parts which can be can't be easily pressed. The explosives used can be of any mass and shape, so the size of the product is not a concern of matter. The applications of explosive forming. The major applications are nuclear installations, gas turbine components, architectural buildings and art. Example, s hose collectors for the Rolls-Royce MT-30 turbine, gas turbine, cover plates of, for a nuclear water basin, many types of combustible liners from Nickel alloys, many types of manifolds for both gas turbines with a very uniform thickness. The boiler product, missile parts, aircraft radar shield, these are the applications.